So let's set the scene. You were doing something which you thought would be very obvious, like maybe creating a summing function. And there's an error that's popped up called the algebraic loop, and you're wondering how to get rid of this. Okay, so let's learn what this is, and by the end of this video, I hope that you will not run into this problem again. So let's agree on some nomenclature. A summer function has got two inputs. This is input 1 and input 2. Now the input 2 is the output itself. So let's just mark this out here. This is input, the output. We have got effectively two inputs. Input 1 plus input 2 is equal to output. However, input 2 is the same as the output. So I'm just going to simplify this. So this is what this function looks like. It accumulates the input value and as the input is a constant variable, it looks like a ramp function. This is running in discrete time once every second. So what we are trying to simulate here is input plus output is equal to output. This problem is better understood in discrete time. Let's introduce the idea of the time step. Each blue bar indicates the time step of execution and let's give it an index. So to make this more accurate, we need to mention that the output needs to be calculated using the output from the previous time step. If the index for a particular time step is k, then adding the input at k to the output from k minus 1 would be as follows. Let's look into this in further detail. Let's take time steps 1, 2, and 3. Suppose the input is a constant value of 1. In time step 1, the output has a value of 2. In time step 2, the input is added to the output of the previous time step. Therefore, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. For time step 3, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. I hope you see the idea here. So getting back to the problem at hand. Why is this giving us a problem? It's because this literally translates to input of k plus the output at k is equal to output at k. Again, this is a problem because the output at k cannot be calculated using the output at k itself. This is an algebraic loop. What we need instead is this. Let's first make sure that the model is running in discrete time. Click on Modeling and then Model Settings. And out here it should say Fixed Step, Discrete and pick a Fixed Step Size. For now I've taken one second. So let's type this out here. This is what we are trying to achieve. K-1 basically means that the output value needs to be one time step behind the input value. Another way to say that would be it needs to be one time delay behind the input time step. So here's what we're going to do. Go to the library browser and find the unit delay. This block delays the output by one time step. So if you get k on the inside, you will get k minus one on the outside. So we're just going to drag it over our arrow. Let's label this. This is input k and this is output k. Then this is going to be the output at k minus 1. And now if you press run, the error has vanished. Okay, and now it works. To be sure, you can take this out, simulate it again. Sure enough, you get an error. Let's undo that. And the error has vanished. So that's about the algebraic loop. You want to add in a unit delay block to be able to break algebraic loops. I will be posting more videos on Simulink and control systems. So please like and subscribe this channel so that they show up on your feed. And please give me suggestions for future videos and feedback in the comments section below. Thanks.